When we think must-see tourist attractions, we generally think elevation, mountains, skyscrapers, waterfalls, towering pyramids, temples on the top of a hill, Inca trails or roller coasters. But many hidden gems remain beneath the surface. And with a little research and some digging, you can uncover some real treasures. So let's get into it. 12 of the most incredible underground places to visit. Eisresenwald, Austria. Hidden in the Austrian part of the Alps is the largest ice cave system in the world. The Eisresenwald is 42 kilometers or 26 miles of natural limestone ice caves that naturally occur in this part of the Alps. They are open to the public from May to October each year in the European summer. Even though it is the summertime, the caves are below freezing temperatures all the time. Inside the ice passages, you will see giant ice formations, on average as large as 25 meters or 82 feet. The main feature in the cave is Hamir's Castle, an ice formation in the shape of a church organ. The limestone formations are millions of years old, so preserving them is of the highest priority, and photography is strictly prohibited. Seattle Underground, Washington Under the streets of Seattle, Washington, lies a completely otherworldly place waiting for you to explore. The underground network of passageways and basements used to be the original ground level of the city in the mid-19th century. After a fire gutted Seattle in 1889, the city rebuilt on top of the old structure in masonry, and they were able to build much higher. This lower level became unused and it fell into disrepair. Now you can join a tour and explore many of the old passages and buildings that are still safe. They are cafes and even wedding venues breathing life back into the old city bones. Toda Salt Mines, Romania the Toda salt mines were rated by Business Insider as the most beautiful underground place in the world. So let's dive in and see what the fuss is all about. The salt mine has been a site for salt extraction for time immemorial. But around the Roman occupation of Dacia, the salt extraction started going deeper underground. The salt was extracted with hammers, chisels, pickaxes and plenty of elbow grease. Miners removed salt by the tons and in doing so carved beautiful halls, amphitheaters and open spaces deep into the earth. In in 1932, the mine was closed, but was used as a hideout and later a warehouse for storing cheese. Presently, it is living another life as an underground amusement park, complete with a ferris wheel all 120 meters or 393 feet below the Earth's surface. The cave has some beautiful underground lakes, perfect for exploring by rowboat. The entertainment doesn't stop there, because you can join in on a round of mini golf head to the bowling alley or play a game of pool. If you feel up to breaking a sweat this close to the Earth's core, then you can enjoy a game of soccer or field hockey on the full-sized sports field. You will be forgiven for feeling like you stepped into a futuristic wonderland with a blend of gigantic scale geology and modern technology. If you want to explore it from the comfort of your home, you can do a virtual reality tour with Atlas Obscura. Reed Flute Cave, Gulen, China Over 180 million years ago, water began dripping through this exquisite cave, and over time it formed massive columns of stone, reaching from floor to ceiling, as well as younger stalactites and stalagmites that have not yet joined. The cave was rediscovered in the 1940s and is now a popular tourist attraction with an impressive lighting show that highlights the features of this subterranean marvel. The cave has earned the nickname the Palace of Natural Art. There is ink writing in in the cave dating back to 792 CE, which would have been penned during the time of the Tang Dynasty, showing that the cave was a common hiding spot throughout the ages. Basilica Cistern, Istanbul, Turkey Hiding in plain sight under the southwest corner of the Hagia Sophia is the most incredible underground reservoir. The romance and grandeur of this subterranean waterway is magnificent. It is constructed of 336 stone columns supporting a vaulted brick ceiling that soars far above the present water level. The cistern was designed to hold 100,000 tons of water. It was built in the 6th century by Byzantine Emperor Justinianus for water security. And during during this time, it has had several upgrades and restorations. Today, it is open to the public as a museum. If you visit, be sure to have a look at the two giant medusa heads that support two columns. One is placed sideways, the other is upside down. It is thought that they are a show of disrespect to pagan culture and were taken from other Roman buildings and placed this way when the reservoir was built. 
Derinkuyu Underground City, Turkey Imagine renovating your home and finding a hidden room that led to an entire ancient underground complex that extends 18 stories below the Earth's surface. This is exactly what happened to a homeowner in Turkey. Since his discovery, 600 more entrances have been found in homes and courtyards. Inside this incredible rabbit's warren of defense was an entire hidden city that dates back as far as the 7th century. It was built by the ancient population to protect them during invasions. The hidden city has all the comforts of terra firma, like churches, stables, lodging, storage, and even a winery. To close up the underground city, the inhabitants banded together and rolled massive two-foot stone wheels over the entrances to seal them in. The underground complex boasts some impressive technology that allowed the 20,000 inhabitants to live with access to fresh air and water to all levels of the 18-story dwelling. Ventilation shafts carried fresh air in and moved stale air out. Even at its deepest level of 60 meters or almost 200 feet, there is fresh air and fresh water. Porto Princesa Underground River, Philippines A river runs right through the limestone mountain on the island of Palawa in the Philippines. Take a raft tour through the 5-mile, 8-kilometer river that snakes under a mountain. The river connects the South China Sea to the Cabanugan River of the island. The passages vary from narrow claustrophobic cracks to 390 feet wide or 118 meters and crane 200 feet or 60 meters overhead. The whole area is a natural wonderland with over 800 plant species and alive with animal life. It is also a registered UNESCO World Heritage Site. Three Nugagir Volcano, Iceland Thankfully, this volcano last erupted 4,000 years ago and is now considered dormant. Where most volcanoes would just have a plug of cold magma between calm and a volcanic eruption, the Three Nugagir volcano's magma has subsided into the Earth's core. Left behind is a deep cavern that you can explore. Take an elevator deep down into the magma chamber by a cable lift and see the inner workings of a volcano. The inside walls are gleaming pearlescent rainbow rocks of glittering color, not the ashy black rock you would expect. Getting to the mouth of the volcano is an hour hike into the Icelandic highlands. The volcano the tour takes an hour or two into the heart of the beast, and beast it is. The main chamber inside the volcano is so big that it could hold the Statue of Liberty and have space to spare. Wieliska Salt Mine, Poland It has taken over 700 years to create this man-made underground wonder, and when you visit, you will understand why. The Wieliska Salt Mine is a hand-carved wonderland of sculpted artworks, chapels, concert halls, health spas, and even grand rooms for meals, all etched into the landscape once the salt was removed. Grand chandeliers now light exquisitely carved chambers fit for a royal ball. The mine is as deep as the Eiffel Tower, and it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Matmata Underground Houses, Tunisia Below the hot and dry landscape of Tunisia's southern valley region of Djebel Dahar is the underground city of Matmata. The houses of the city were dug into the soft sandstone rock using simple hand tools. Each little home is connected via a labyrinth of tunnels that all open into a central courtyard. Homes built underground means that residents can escape the intense heat and winds so common to these desert landscapes. The village was featured in Star Wars as a Luke Skywalker's family home. Betty Georges of Lalibela, Ethiopia. The roof of the church forms a shape of a green cross carved directly into the ground, around 40 feet or 12 meters deep. Included in the church complex is a replica of the Ark of the Covenant and curtain shielding the Holy of Holies. Today, the town of Lalibela surrounding the church is still a place of simple pleasures. No gas stations because there are no motor vehicles, no paved streets, and the town enjoys the pace of subsistence business the way it always has. One ten of the town's population are devoted to the priesthood. Lalibela is frequently wrapped up in the festivities of religious festival days. Processions, periods of fasting, or singing and dancing clergymen are all common sights in the town with a timeless biblical atmosphere. Have you ever been fortunate enough to visit any of these incredible underground places? If so, share your experience with us in the comments below.
1. Portuguese Cistern of El Jadida, Morocco In the Orson Welles film Othello, the fight scene between Cassio and Rodrigo takes place in this underground location. But long before it made its film debut, this ancient underground structure has been a site of conflict. The Portuguese occupied the area and built a cistern inside the fortress of Mezagan, which is now the city of El Jadida. It was built in 1514 to replace a former warehouse. The cistern is a glorious space, 34 by 34 meters or 111 by 111 feet, with five rows of five columns, giving a grand feeling to the space. There's a small pool in the center of the space which overflows constantly, filling the floor with a thin layer of water that creates mirror-like reflections of the vaulted ceilings and pillars.